So today we're speedrunning through Angry Birds Space, the game where you play Angry Birds, but in space, obviously. But we're going to be doing two different speedruns for this game. The first one is the Pig Bank speedrun, and then we're also going to do another world. So we can start out our first speedrun by clicking one right here, and you'll see right away, yeah, we're in space. We have different planets or asteroids, little balls of something that have their own gravity fields. So that's going to be the main mechanic that we have to use, which I actually really like. I think it's a really cool addition to Angry Birds because you can curve your Angry Bird across the entire planet, and it's really cool. So we can aim him right there, get that, Boom, get through these defenses, maybe. Please, birds, okay, it's taking a tiny bit longer than I wanted to. And then sometimes you get levels like this where there are two different gravity fields. So you can start out that one, curve them that way, curve them the other way to kill the pig in the end. So I just think this game is really sweet with how they do everything. And another thing I should mention is all the birds also have superpowers. So like this red bird, even though he's normally just the normal bird that doesn't really do anything, in this game, actually I'm not really sure what his power is. I think it's like he goes a little faster. I, what, whatever, it's just something. And then you have this blue bird, which of course just uses its same superpower. They actually didn't add anything new for him, which is pretty sad. But to be fair, his superpower is really useful. He can multiply into three different birds and just kind of kill everything. Like that is a good superpower. It's just not any different from any of the Angry Birds games. So kind of sad for him. But of course, this guy is the most useful when dealing with ice. It just kind of destroys everything. All of these pigs just die. We don't even have to worry about the ice that we're going through. So it's definitely a power up that I like using and I don't really mind if they didn't change it. I'm completely okay with this. Okay, let's hit this one. We can use the two gravity fields to hopefully hit there. Gravity is sometimes really weird, especially when you can't see where it's going. Obviously, we do get the indicator that tells us where for the first little part, but then after that, you're kind of just on your own, which I am scared. Look, I don't claim to be the greatest Angry Birds space player, and sometimes the gravity just completely is like, okay, what is going on? But we're not going to worry about that because instead we're just going to worry about how we have the bomb guy now. So the bomb guy is pretty much the same as before. He can explode things. Yeah, not the hardest thing. One thing that they added that's kind of like a new technique for him, and I just messed it up right there. What you can do is explode these rocks to try to hit the different pigs. Now you can't explode too near the rocks because if you do, it's going to actually just explode the rock. But if we use it pretty right, then we should be fine. And we can also use them in situations like this where you have all this stuff on the planet. It doesn't really wanna move. Well, we can just use an explosion and that'll probably make it wanna move. I guess. Oh, and we have this one more pig. He got frozen in space, which is kind of a very sad way to die. If you don't kill these pigs right away and instead you just get rid of their bubble, it's kind of terrible what happens. They just freeze in space. Like that sounds like a terrible way to die. Like look at that guy. He's just freezing until he dies and it happens immediately. And now we have this level. Okay, for this one, this is probably my least favorite level in the game just because this is so difficult. You have to aim these rocks to try to hit the different pigs and it is so weird to do it. I'm actually really lucky that I got it that fast. And then we have this one where we're going to use an explosion, try to hit all the pigs up there. That guy does not feel like dying. Please die, dude. Oh my God. This guy is in literally the weirdest spot possible. I'm going to have to use an entire thing just for him. That was so annoying. Well, at least we can go that pig. He's in a nice and easy spot. And now we finally get to use our yellow birds who are now purple for some reason, but we're just not going to talk about that. And this is the first one where the power significantly changes. So what you can do, as you can see, is we can aim where he's going to make sure that we hit the pigs exactly where we want to. And this is a really cool power just because first of all, it gives more speed. Obviously it is the yellow bird but second of all i don't have to have good aim i can just pretend to and then just pick where i want to go instead it makes my life a whole lot easier so i'm fine with that so like right here we can go there and then hit the tnt to make sure that all these pigs explode we can go right here then get through there to hit that tnt as well okay the game does not feel like giving this to me right now please just work and there we go thank you game yeah this part's weird you want to hit that tnt but it's so awkward to hit i don't really know how else to explain it but there we go we can get that get this final pig who for some reason is in the most fortified position I've ever seen in my life. I really don't like him being there. And then we have this level where we can go right here, explode this little area to make sure we hit the pigs over there. Also kind of do a pretty precise shot right here so we can hit this last pig. And there we go, got him right there. And then this last pig is kind of just there not really doing anything not the hardest one in the world and i really like this level because what you have to do is you separate these birds right there so you can hit multiple things and i kind of just completely messed that up but i think we might still be fine we can use this red bird to hit that guy and then hopefully 
we can get this last pig but he's in a very awkward spot but we got him together with the two different birds we had okay that was beautiful and now this is a pretty easy level i mean we just have our birds we're exploding some tnt not too much going on to be honest kind of just some obvious things that pig is in a very annoying spot right now though there's so much stuff blocking me but there we go we can hit him there he's gonna freeze to death that's what you get for trying to stay away from me instead of just accepting your death like the other pigs you actually tried to fight back and you know that means you get super death okay and this pig is so annoying we have to hit that come on pig pig please die okay we're trying to hit that tnt he should have that, that, are you kidding me? That is one of the most annoying things I've ever seen. For some reason, this pig just didn't get out of his thing, even though we hit the ice, which is supposed to cause it to just work, but... Okay, well, we'll try that again, I guess. This pig just really does not feel like being useful. Dude, can you please go away? Please do not balance that on your head. Come on, man. <laughs> just let it fall. Let it... You're wasting my speed run time right now, dude. Okay, and now we have literally the worst level in my opinion i hate this level i feel like it is just so badly made because it's so awkward to try to hit all those pigs we got really lucky right there i don't think you realize how lucky we got but just know it's really usually awkward and now we can hit this one this one's pretty much just about hitting all the tnt not too much going on right here we can just hit this tnt get all the stuff to go in their separate directions and yeah there we go and finally we finish it out with a boss battle in this one the boss battle is really weird he will spawn different like turnips and stuff but he'll also spawn these rocks and we want to hit these rocks so that they hit him and it's really awkward sometimes especially because we have to wait and just kind of hope that the rocks hit him and they also can't hit his top bubble they have to hit the body of this machine which is really annoying to sometimes try to go ahead and hit come on dude just give me Okay, th th can I stop getting this bad luck? Dude, please let yourself get hit by these rocks. I hate this boss battle. Come on, dude. Just let me finish out this run. Let me hit more of these rocks. Get this done. You're kidding me. Do you see what's happening right now? I guess we have to literally restart this. <laughs> oh, this run is a disaster. Come on, just give me the rocks that I need. We can hit them. Make sure they hit you. It's going to be a great thing. Like I said, these vegetables, they just don't do anything. They just sit in the air, which I guess, why would he give me stuff that would injure him? But I mean, why not? Then there we go. We can finish out time finally. At least we got sub 10. And now we're also going to be doing the solar system speed run. So this one's really cool. Instead of going through levels exactly, you go through all the different planets and I guess like asteroid belts and stuff. So we can start out right away with Mercury. It starts out pretty easy. It's kind of introducing some new mechanics and new mechanics we're getting introduced to this time is this egg bomb. You can hit it. It will explode a second later and it allows for a lot of cool levels as you will see in the future. Like right here, we can hit this rock to hit that egg bomb and make sure that happens. Then we can use these guys to make sure that we we try to hit that fuel tank right over there and kind of just send all these pigs out see you later dude so i really like the solar system levels just because they expand on the ideas a lot that you get before and yeah it just makes it really cool like right here we can use these guys again to try to hit that little tnt sack and then hopefully finish out the rest of these birds okay that guy's kind of just chilling i guess we'll have to explode him with a bomb guy i'm very happy that we don't have to get three stars because you know if i was trying to do that it wouldn't be working out too well but we can use that hit this blue guy to make sure that we hit all of these asteroids down because that's going to be pretty important okay the asteroids did not go in the greatest positions but we can still finish off these people hopefully that guy was barely alive and then we have mars where we can use the gravity to try to hit all of this stuff into a different place so we can use it to hit that guy make sure he dies send one of these purple guys all the way out to make sure we can hit this egg and kind of just pelt the entire planet with an asteroid yeah we're not the nicest people in the world but i guess we're also angry birds so what do you expect from us so for this one i'm gonna aim right there to try to hit this tnt first go right there use these big fat green guys to try to hit the rest of this okay big fat green guys might be kind of a rude way to put it but i mean to be fair they are big fat green guys and then we have jupiter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these big inflatable guys i really don't know what to call these birds maybe i should have learned their names before i was making this video <laughs> i'm just calling them things like inflatable guys maybe not the best names in the world we're gonna try to use the gravity to pull the rest of these pigs down and yeah they're kind of just gonna die from impact i mean it's a better way to die than suffocating in space 
at least they got that going for them. Still probably a pretty bad way to die, but I mean, whatever. It's not really my problem. Okay, I'm gonna hit this and try to hit that stuff up there to kill all these guys. They're just sitting all together in one bubble. Maybe I help them out because at least they're not crowded in one bubble. I mean, they might be dead though, which is, okay, Never mind. let's just not talk about that. And now we have this level, which feels like kind of RNG to try to get all these pigs because they're in very annoying positions. Like you can see right here, what is going on? Why have I not hit all of them? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but we were able to somehow finish it out right there. I'm pretty happy about that. I was getting ready to reset and I was not going to appreciate that. Now we can use the bird to try to go through this gravity, hit that egg thing first. Okay, we missed the egg thing, but I guess it's still, I, I guess it still works. And now we can use this blue guy to try to hit the rest of these. Uh, uh, they're in very annoying positions. This is taking a bit longer than I'd like it to, but we can finish out right there. Hit the rest of those pigs nice and easy. Neptune's gonna come by, and this time we're gonna use this kind of like air pocket to hit that thing first and finish off those pigs. Then we can go right here, hit that pig into there to try to hit that little pig bomb, and that should finish off the rest of them because it will cause that thing to start or just cause an explosion. I was forgetting where I was, but it did still kill him. And now we can use a fairly specific shot to go right here, aim for that egg bomb. That's going to explode, do a lot of damage right there. We can also aim one of these people right here to kill these two pigs over there. And then finally, hopefully that hits that. It didn't. We got unlucky. Okay, hooray. Oh, this game is kind of driving me insane, but we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to try it again because that was the most annoying way for it not to work. Okay, please let the explosion just hit those people. What is going on? Okay, we're just gonna try this one more time and maybe finally the like 50th time will be the try. Okay, it's not the 50th time, but you know, it's still a lot. That's what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Why did that have to take so long? That's all I wanted. Okay, well, anyway, we can finish it out with this bird, kind of aim right there, it'll explode. And I don't know why that had to take so long to happen, but whatever, I guess. And we can aim this little blue bird down here, hit Pluto, make sure we aim for that. And oh my God, that messed up too, you're kidding me. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. We're gonna aim these guys, try to hit that thing over there. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Game, please stop driving me insane. And then that thing will explode, kill all the rest of them, and then that should be time right there. Now, if we look on speedrun.com, we can see we're about halfway up the leaderboards for both of these levels. So you know what? I'm just gonna take it. Obviously, there's a lot of time save we could make for both of these, but I also don't feel like doing with this space RNG. These birds hurt me too much. 